My name is Brittany Vandervoort. I'm Gabrielle Hersenko. Hi, I'm Katie Trank. Uh, I'm James Salomon. My name is Darren Card. I'm enrolled in the biotech program. It is awesome. I'm really glad I came to JCC because Dr. Christman has been the best advisor we could ever have asked for. She's awesome. She She's a tough teacher, but it prepares you for, for harder, further courses that you're going to be taking. And she pushes you along. If she feels like you can do it, she'll push you to do it. She's given us a lot of experience here. We do like cancer research, research on Lyme disease, research on malaria, and tons of different things. We built this building because I could say that we had these facilities and these pieces of equipment. We were able to parlay that into a three and a half million dollar grant from NSF to uh, basically inculcate the biotechnology program with research. Uh, and, and then because of that, we we're actually the tip of the sphere of a national movement to have undergraduate research at community colleges. So we have 15 different projects going on and we're all involved in a little bit of each one of them. Everyone is able to learn at their own pace, but it's such a quick, accelerated pace for everybody. But everyone has a chance to find their their speed, and that's nice. She uh, she's really good at, at pushing students to reach their 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 full potential and get them prepared for the higher level courses and, and schools, so they're not freaked out and stressed. So just coming into the lab and and being able to get my hands dirty doing uh, these experiences is, is going to help me a lot, I think, because I'll be using them again in the future. So I, that's really part of the reason I sought out coming down here and, and taking a few courses during the year I was off. Science classes here are awesome. Yeah, we learn a lot here. Uh, we have opportunities to learn with lots of equipment that um, a lot of places don't have, uh, which makes it hard to decide what school we want to go to next from here because we want to continue doing the research that we do and you don't get these kind of opportunities at every school. Um, even when we, we went to the American Association of Immunologists conference in Boston, um, a few weeks ago and we were talking with some biotech companies there and other researchers and telling them our research and what we were working on and a lot of people were shocked that we were only undergrad students in a community college and not graduate students or uh, just even in a four-year program. What makes this lab so comfortable here is the fact that it's smaller because we only have like 50 or 60 people in the biotech program and it's kind of like a close-knit family here so we all get along really well and it's always really comfortable to work here and we pretty much spend all day in the lab every day we pretty much live in this lab so it's nice to work here with people that you're friendly with people that you don't disagree with and things like that. The small classroom sizes really do uh, help uh, the one-on-one -on -one interactions between the students and teachers uh, and you get a very hands-on uh, approach to learning science. Since we have the tools and people who are available to teach how to use at such a, uh, an early time, uh, you're looking most research starts senior year of college, we're starting day one of uh, your freshman year. These spaces really look professional, they're representative of what they're going to get in a real life of experience when they go on to get a job or they go on to their four-year school. Um, so I think, you know, from my point of view, this space has made the biotechnology program really possible. 